This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. And today I want to talk about the legalization of marijuana in New Jersey and the possible legalization of heroin. I don't have a problem with uh, the legalization of marijuana. I don't see people smoking so much that they get into car accidents. They might impede traffic, hinder traffic, going too slow, something like that. But the legalization of heroin. People OD all the time. I've had family members and friends die from overdosing. You got to have a vaccine because the masks aren't working and they're doing this for our health. Uh, but they're putting fluoride in our water. They want to put lithium in our water now because of the suicide rate is high in certain areas. They want to put lithium in people's water. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first, the U.S. has been adding a fluoride to its public water supply for decades, and that's, of course, to prevent tooth decay. Well, now researchers from Japan are suggesting that we add lithium. So why is that? Well, they're actually not suggesting it, but they're certainly looking into it. Lithium is a medication that in prescription doses treats mood disorders in people with bipolar disorder or manic depressive illness. And what these researchers found in Japan is that it's, uh, lithium is present in trace amounts in the normal water supply in some communities. And in those communities, they have a lower suicide rate. And so they're really investigating whether trace amounts of lithium can just change the mood in a community enough to really, in a, in a positive way, without having the bad effects of lithium, to really affect the mood and decrease the suicide rate. Very interesting hmm. concept. You know, it's the same reason why we put um, iodine and salt, fluoride and water. Um, there's, there's many different examples of when we put trace amounts of chemicals in the normal supply of food or water to help people's health. Right. Um, just wanted to touch back on one, one thing that you mentioned that came up in terms of issues with lithium in the kidneys. Now, is lithium actually toxic to the kidneys? Does it hurt them? Or is it more an issue of someone whose kidney function isn't good, might have fluctuations in their lithium levels? What's the issue? Both, both and even a third factor. So someone who has a, a serious pre-existing kidney condition should probably not take lithium. In a very small number of cases, lithium has been shown to cause severe kidney damage. That can happen, but it is not common, and it can be avoided by keeping to that regular program of blood tests. But there is a third aspect, and that is lithium can cause some uh, temporary side effects on the, on the uh, kidney such as excessive urination and thirst that are not serious, are not related to the long-term rare damage, and that also can be treated with changing the lithium dose or adding a medication for the excessive urination. Lithium in our drinking water, really? The fluoride was to dumb people down, and evidently that worked. Um, legalizing heroin. Now there was a, a teacher, I forget the name of the teacher, um, for 20 or 25 years he's been experimenting with heroin. Heroin helps him get through the day, stuff like that. And he wants to help, or he wants us to legalize heroin. Columbia Heroin Professor Carl Hart admitted to using heroin every day in new book Columbia University Professor Carl Hart is an admitted heroin user, and he's making no apologies about it. The revered neuroscientist op about his recreational drug use in his new book Drug Use for Grown Ups, Chasing Liberty in the Land of Fear.
The 54-year-old father of three detailed revealed he uses heroin on a regular basis, but insists he does not have a drug problem, as he's able to fulfill his obligations and responsibilities as both an educator and family man. There aren't many things in life that I enjoy more than a few lines by the fireplace at the end of the day, he wrote, as reported by the New York Post. Well, if you came out into the public and said that you're a heroin addict, why is this person still teaching school or a college or whatever it is? It's illegal. You shouldn't be doing heroin to begin with. People are dying all around us. And you have to get a vaccine to, for this COVID thing to help and not spread it. But there's just no common sense to any of this. They're going to legalize marijuana is fine. But to legalize heroin, but you can OD, you can die. When people get addicted to this stuff, you see them on the street. They, they shoot up, they pass out, they fall asleep. You're going to have all these people all over. And then when you get addicted to it, you can't get it. There's going to be more robberies, more deaths, more murders. I, I don't understand the concept of that. You, by law, you have to wear, a, a, in most states, like here in New Jersey, you have to wear a motorcycle helmet or you'll get a ticket. You have to wear a seatbelt or you'll get a ticket. You're not hurting anybody else. If you don't wear a seatbelt, if you want to go through the windshield, that's on you. Some people want to wear them. Some people don't feel comfortable. You know, if you wear a seatbelt, you can be decapitated. You, the seatbelt can cut your head off. That's your choice. Uh, I don't understand kids. You have to have a bicycle helmet. Now, I'm an adult. If I have a bicycle, just say I lost my license for drunken driving or something, or it's just a nice day and I take a regular pedal bicycle to the store to get a pack of cigarettes or get a soda or whatever, go to the pot dispensary to get some marijuana, I can get a ticket if I don't have a helmet on riding a bicycle. But we're going to legalize heroin. Where are we going? What's up with this world today? I don't understand the concept of... Uh, my dangerous idea is that we should legalize all of the currently illegal drugs. Not just marijuana, but cocaine, heroin, methamphetamine, LSD, everything else that's out there. My basic argument is that, first, in a free society, we should allow people to consume whatever they want, no matter how dangerous, no matter how much it might be bad for them, because that's what freedom means. Not just the freedom to do things that are good for you, but the freedom to do things that might not be good for you, or that other people might think are not good for you. Second, by trying to discourage people using drugs and trying to discourage the genuine unfortunate circumstances which happen sometimes because of drug use, we, under, we incur far worse negative outcomes, far worse cost than would result simply from the use of drugs in a legal framework. So what are all these adverse consequences of attempting to prohibit drugs? People don't go crazy and kill people from marijuana. If you got a big, but you get a truckload of marijuana, maybe you're going to kill somebody because it's a lot of money sitting there. But to legalize heroin, I don't, I don't understand the concept. I don't understand what these people are up to. They're spraying the skies, they're poisoning our water, and they want to put lithium, lithium in your drinking water. People, come on. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. It. It's been popping up, it's been coming up on my news feed and stuff, and I'm like, this teacher came out and said that they're a heroin addict and that we should legalize it. Well, you, it, it helps him stress-wise and get through the day. Well, you can do that with anything. Certain people are crazy, these bipolar people and stuff, and people that are getting locked up, you know what? Road rage. When you somebody cuts you off you know for 20 miles going in front of you they cut in front of you then they go slow you pass they pass you and you get frustrated you get road rage you run them off the road well I feel better when I do that if I run somebody off the road and kill them by hitting let them hit a tree or something these bicyclists on the side of the road they get in the way they go through intersections if I hit one and kill one well you know what that makes me feel better that should be legal right just because certain people makes them feel better, we're supposed to make it legal for everybody. There's no common sense to these laws, none whatsoever.
That's just one I wanted to get off my chest. This teacher came out and said that, you know, they're a heroin addict and it, it should be legal because it makes him feel better. Well, you know, just because something makes certain people feel better, if it's illegal, it's illegal. If you drink, if you're an alcoholic and you're a drunk and every weekend, you, you know, drunk and driving, you hit a pole, you hit a car, well, if it makes you feel good, who, it should be illegal. Get drunk and hit a pole, hit a parked car, run somebody over, it should be legal. As long as you feel good. Uh, if you're going to make certain things legal because it makes certain people feel better, I don't want to wear a seatbelt. I, I don't want to wear a motorcycle helmet. It makes me feel better if I drive my truck with no insurance or registration. It makes me feel better. It saves me money and I feel better having that money in my pocket. So we should get rid of car insurance because it makes me feel better. Uh, I get pissed off. Every day I get pissed off at this stuff. But evidently I have a problem because I'm not, I'm not doing heroin, I guess. If I did heroin, I would feel better. What are your thoughts on certain laws? What state are you in where there are certain laws or regulations that make no sense to you? Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what's going on, what state you're in, and what pisses you off, what laws you think are good. Is legalizing marijuana good? You know, it doesn't affect me. Legalizing heroin doesn't affect me. But when you start going out and people are losing their jobs, they can't get money, and where are you going to get the heroin? They're going to legalize marijuana. You're not going to be able to buy marijuana from the person around the corner that you usually do because the state needs to make their money. The government wants their money. That's the only reason they're going to legalize marijuana. You're going to have to go to the pot dispensaries and get your marijuana. You're going to have to have your name with a prescription and all that stuff. Are they going to have heroin shops where you can go in and get your heroin? You know, they got smokers lounges and cigar vape shops. You can sit and read and whatever and smoke. Are they going to have a place where you can go and just hang out with your buddies and shoot heroin all day? Don't they have that called Skid Row already? Uh, this is Pawnee Prepper Bill. I'm pissed off. I'm ranting. I'm raving. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll talk to you later.